Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Six to seven, Isaiah fifty-five. It says, "Seek ye the Lord." Six to seven, while he may be found. That's a very dangerous scripture. Where will the Bible say while he may be found? This is not talking of salvation. No, this is not born again. There are dimensions in God that require timing. It, it, it will take, let me tell you, a man who begins to seek God at 80 years, you will find God, but there are dimensions. The remaining lifetime you have will not afford you to grow and transit and metamorphose spiritually to access certain dimensions of God. He says, seek him early while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Seven. He says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to God for he will abundantly pardon brokenness let me tell you this brokenness um, is not necessarily for sinners pride has almost killed men of God in our generation this holier than thou mentality whenever i talk about brokenness like this there are people who just say it doesn't let's get to power part listen brokenness is a state of the heart that declares your consistent dependence on god the bible says a broken and a contrite spirit god will not despise do you know why many of us although we feel qualified we never find god because we believe that standing in our self-righteousness based on what we believe we have and know god should anoint me brokenness brokenness show me a man that can be broken towards god i show you a man who the devil will never have access to him look at david moses was a man who walked with God very faithfully. The Bible says he was the meekest man on earth. Yet, Moses could not enter the promised land. Do you know that? Just because God told him to speak to the rock and out of anger that was justified, he took a staff and hit the rock. God said, that's it, you are not going. He joined all the other people who could not make the promised land. But here is David. Search me, O God. Let me tell you the posture of those that God will use in this generation. Search me, O oh God, and try my heart. He says, if there is any wicked way in me, you don't have to manifest it yet. It can be there, waiting until you have an estate. Nobody knows that one day you can insult a woman the age of your mother. You are not yet rich. So you will think that just because I'm an obedient young man, who would have known that David one day will kill Uriah and sleep with Bathsheba? Put a man's death sentence and say, go and die. A nice shepherd boy please i'd like you to pray in one minute and say lord i open my heart search it brokenness is a language that our generation hates but let me tell you it is the secret the number one proof that you are a man of the secret place is that consistently it is not sin that destroys men it is the pride of an unbroken heart before god it is not weakness and limitation that destroys men. It is the pride of an unbroken heart. Nebuchadnezzar was brought to his knees until he was broken. Pharaoh was brought to his knees until he was broken. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I'm not ashamed that whatever you find in my heart, but I come to you just as I am. Let there be a brokenness. Sir King Aljana, Yabone 
24 he said and see if there be any wicked way and lead me to the way everlasting that's a man before God that's that's the posture that can bring the presence of God attract the presence of God to a man every time we stand before God believing Lord why are you using this man there are people who see certain of our orthodox pastors and they stand as young people full of themselves and say this this reverend this man he doesn't even speak english well why is god using him why is the man rising whereas i am here i'm a fasting giant i have this knowledge i have that i have this and yet the ministry does not grow do you know why because that man is not sound in the word and he knows it so he goes to god and say lord if you depend on my teaching these members will not grow i come to you with my limited revelation can your grace speak for me and god says the little prayer you pray for the members i will amplify it because it's coming from a broken heart let me tell you pride kills when you see people arrogant for a long time they have left the secret place I can know whether you are one who is of the secret place by the consistency of self-glorification and pride. If up to one month in your life passes without you seeing a need to spend time with God alone, it's a sign your life is under attack. Hear me, if you're a man of God here, listen twice. Don't be carried away by some of these little accolades in ministry oh they invited me here i went to this country a senator met with me he said you are the greatest man of god in the world while they are saying that keep your ears to the throne lord what are you saying in the midst of that club god can say finish that meeting and let's meet where we usually meet you will enter there and god will never talk to you about a senator god will say i'm already seeing there is I, I want to bless you with 100 million but there's, there's something I'm seeing that 100 million would destroy you and say God me I just a senator I would have prophesied to God say keep quiet I am God brokenness many of you stopped growing spiritually for a long time you didn't backslide but you didn't grow either because you are doing a lot of corporate things retreat now is, is a language many people don't even know what a retreat is they think retreat is fasting so they just close their door and fast and answer calls all through from morning till night gone are the days when people lock themselves and say sorry you are not going to see me for the next two days please hear me god is speaking to us if you don't practice retreats you will not survive the darkness of today it's true no matter who you are retreat retreat is not when you gas out spiritually and you see that kite no grace is working in your life no you must find time i'm busy i'm busy is a trap of the devil no if police arrest you now you are not too busy to attend to the people if an ambrober detains you somewhere you will say ambrober i'm busy come the day i'm free the power of brokenness have you come to a position where the secret place has broken you? Read you off your pride and everything. You know there is no brokenness by how we speak. 
uh, the other day someone just called me and is that i don't want to talk too much but ah at my level now you know then we now wrap it up with a religious all glory to god it's a lie it's a lie all glory to god first comes from the heart before the mouth hallelujah is god speaking to us now some of us need to find time just by this message god is telling you i love you but you have you have worshipped me corporately but that fellowship we used to have something is wrong return to it oh return to it return to it that fellowship is not there again even when you didn't have money for hotel you were having time for god now that you can pay for any hotel or any place to stay with god you are no longer spending time we only run to god when there's trouble then we just run and say god have come again is it not you you are god i'm a man but let's not no lord i come to you i stand before you and i know that it is by your mercy and by your grace lord i thank you david a man after not god's money you can be after god's money you can be after god's anointing you can be after god's fame but a man after god's heart please i like us to write it if you are writing i return to the place of brokenness genuine brokenness it will show in our conversations when we are broken you always acknowledge that I am what I am by the grace of God. There are arrogant statements, especially from we men of God, that are testaments of our absenting ourselves from. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.